Okay, uh, today is dedicated to videos on doing phone tricks. Uh, you know, I guess it's somewhat of a modern day uh, freaking scenario. Um, and I just want to pull, pull your attention to this website called caller-id-faker.com. Now, in the past, a couple of years ago, I did have a uh, calling card from a company called Spoof Card. Um, Spoof card. Pretty sure that was the name of the, the website. Anyway, they would sell calling cards. You know, you pay $10 and you get an hour worth of calls or something like that. And basically, you'd have a number you would call and you would enter your account number. And then you could put in any phone number that you wanted to call and then a phone number that you wanted to show up in the caller ID. So there, when the viewer or when the person receiving the call looks at their caller ID on their cell phone, it would say a number other than yours. That was great, but you had to pay for it, and if you didn't use the minutes, uh, every month they would slowly disappear, and it kind of sucked. Well, recently I found this site, once again, caller-id-faker.com, and it is ad-sponsored, but it still is pretty neat, and basically you come here and you type in your phone number, the phone number you want to call, the phone number you want to show up on the caller ID, you can distort your voice. I haven't played with these options here, but uh, Spoof Card had basically the same thing. Basically, it raises or lowers the pitch of your voice if you want. You can choose to record uh, the conversation, which legally you not allowed, you're not allowed to do without notifying the other person that you're recording. So you can tell them or choose to have an automated thing tell them if you are going to record. And then you can also uh, put in your email address. I believe this is uh, will give you a link to the recording. Um, but you don't have to put in your email address if you don't want to. And then you can click Agree and Place Call. So let's go ahead and put in that information and see what happens. So here is a phone number that I'm going to be calling from. Uh, I will call, just to use a number, I'm going to call uh, 1-800-GOOG-411, which no longer exists, but when you call it gives you a funny little message of a guy going, do, do, do. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Do, do, do. So it's just a number I'm using in this example. Um, and then we need to put a phone number that we want to show up in the caller ID. So we'll just put in a fake phone number here, 555-6767 or something like that. There we go. I won't change my voice and I'm not going to bother recording it so I don't need to bother announcing it. I do have to agree to their terms and at this point I click place call and it gives me a phone number to call and this phone number is constantly changing. So at this point, when I call this phone number from the number I put in here, uh, it will play about 30 seconds of ads before it connects me. And once again, that's how they pay for the site. So I'll just come here, paste it into my Google Talk dialer, and I'll click call. And hopefully I have all the audio hooked up correctly so you can hear it. So these are the ads. And once the ads are done, you should hear the guy going, do, do, do. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Get 10 cents off each gallon of gas with Walmart's Great Gas Rollback. Just use a Walmart gift card to pay for gas at any participating Walmart or Murphy USA gas station. Not valid with Sam's Club discount, subject to terms and conditions of Walmart gift card good through September 30th of 2011. Do, do, do. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. And then I'll just hang up. Now, you know, we can't see, but I can tell you that it does show the fake uh, phone number on there. So that's great. You can come to this site and do that. Um, it also has um, apps for iPhone, Android, BlackBerry, and uh, Windows Mobile Phone. Now, I don't have any of those. Um, plus, I don't like using proprietary software when I can avoid it. So how can we write a script ourselves that will automate this that I can use on my computer without having to come to this site or on my cell phone, that Nokia N900, which is running Linux? Well, today we're going to go over a basic doing a bash script, which will be from the command line. And then in our next tutorial, I'll do a Python GUI uh, or maybe even use Zenity. Yeah, I just thought of that now. A Zenity um, GUI so that on my cell phone I can easily input the information and dial it without having to go to the website in my web browser or download some proprietary um, app. Well, just like in some previous tutorials, you can use uh, uh, Firebug or if you're using uh, 
Firefox 4 or newer, you can hit Control Shift K to open up the console here. And let's see what happens. You know, already right, we're getting some information that's just from stuff loading on the page. But with that same information in there, I'm going to click Place Call. And right away, we can see right here we have a little link that appeared. And I thought this was going to be a lot harder than this when I first started working on this. But they're just sending the form with a Get Form Submit. So all the information is right there in a browser link. So I'm just going to copy that link and we can uh, close this window now, that tab. And then I'm going to open up a terminal window. And you can use wget, you can use curl. I'm just going to use links because uh, it's simple. But what I'm going to do is I am going to say links which uh, you may have to install, probably won't be installed by default. And I'm going to go dash dash dump, which will just dump the information that's displayed when you go to this page. And I'm going to paste in that information that I just copied, removing the extra little tags that uh, Firefox throws in there with information on timestamps and that it is a get request. So we have this link and right away you can see that it's connecting to that website, their API, free call, then it has a variable for my phone number, and then there's my phone number that I put in. And the phone number I want to call is right there, the Goog 411 number. And then the phone number that I want to show on the caller ID, the CID. Then the other options as far as um, voice, um, normal, uh, and if, whether you want to record an email, and whether you agree to terms. So that's it. If I hit enter now, it ran that. And it, told me, it tells me right here that this is the phone number I have to call. Now, if I call this phone number from the phone number I have here under my phone number, it will connect me just as it did before. Let's clear out some of this information because all we care about is getting that phone number right now. So I'm going to grep for a line that has the word access underscore number. And then I'm going to cut. Well, well yeah, I'm just going to, I'm not going to run it multiple times. I'm going to cut with a delimiter of plus and I'm going to say field 2 so we're grabbing just this line and then we're finding where there is a plus sign and we're getting everything on the sec on the side after that and then we're going to say cut again with a delimiter of a quotation mark and we're going to say field 1 we're going to find after we cut it out there's going to be one quotation left which is this and we're going to grab everything to the left of that so field 1 so now if I hit enter once again, it submits that information. Once again, the number I'm calling, I want to call from, the number I'm calling to, and the fake number, as well as the other information regarding recording and email and whether you agree to the terms. And all it does is spit out the number I need to call. I'll run it one more time here. And there we go. Now, once again, if I take this number, and hopefully the fact that I ran it multiple times with the same information without calling doesn't screw anything up, I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to place a phone call. And I'm going to paste in that information, Control Shift C, and paste that in. And once again, if I call, and once again, hopefully I have this hooked up properly so you hear the audio. It's dialing. I'll get my ads. And I'm just going to stop it. I'm not going to go all the way through. So there is a way that we can easily grab all the information we need without having to go to that page. And um, once again, you can put this in a script that requests the number you're calling, uh, going to call and the number you want to fake and then you can just leave your regular phone number in that script all the time or request it. Well, once again, this is going to be very useful from a computer, but when it comes to my cell phone, I don't want to have to type in that information if I don't have to with the keyboard. I'd like a nice GUI interface where I can store my phone number and the number I'm calling from. And that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial. Uh, I might do two, as I just said, one using Python and then one maybe using a Bash script, um, but using Xenity since I do have Xenity on my cell phone. So. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We've got a few more coming on some fun phone tricks. And I just hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's links in the description to uh, uh, the information in this video. And uh, I just hope, once again, that you have a great day.